Um, we're just making sure um, we're live, that we oh. get a commercial. My phone or my computer. Oh, I can, I can like swing in my chair. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, I think we're live. Oh yeah, I yep. see, I see me. <laughs> yeah, we're live. Okay. okay. Hey friends, happy Wednesday Friends Day. I hope you're having a great day today. Here with me in the studio today is Emily. Hello. Cool. Cool. That was weird. <laughs> I just want to show you a couple of paintings that are coming up in October before I take them to the gallery, and then we're going to get straight to working on this big bear. So, Sunday, October 2nd, 2022, is Pumpkin and Flowers. You guys just helped me name this on uh, Facebook just the last couple of days. I'm going with Pumpkin Spice, but I wrote down all the other great title ideas. So, thank you so much. And I use palette knife. I don't know if you can see the thickness. The, the pumpkin is pretty smooth, but there's thickness to the... You could probably do a close-up. To the little. flowers. Oh, it's still trying to focus on your face. Oh, you kind of catch it. Oh, there you catch it. The, yep. next, the next one will, is thicker. Yeah. So if you would set that over on the easel, M. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then this one, I've been into structured gel, and you'll see it in the videos. Um, I found an old jar, and I ordered another new one, and I've just been having so much fun playing with it. So this one posts Friday, October 2nd, 2022, or 7th. Friday, October 7th, 2022. And it's got palette knife and thick. I don't know if you can see it. Oh, yep. Um, it's just really fun. And this one's definitely softer and more muted. I've been really having juicy colors lately. And they're both on 12 by 12 inch canvases. So I just wanted to let you know that those are coming up. These would be cute in a little bathroom. Oh, that would be cute in a bathroom. So once Emily is settled, she's going to zoom in on, we're going to work on the face. Oh, here, actually, maybe before Emily, yeah. so you can tell. The reference photo is linked in this video description. Is that horrible glare? There's no glare, but it's a little... There's some glare. It's a little blown out, but it's fine. Like, or just because it's fighting against your color and whatever color. There's the, actually the original photo. Mm -hmm. And then I just played with it a little bit in Photoshop. Okay. Cute. Cute, it's cute. a brown bear. Okay, so uh, we're going to move... Yeah, and I'll, st I'll get paint out and talk about setting the table and... I hope everybody's doing great. But the weeks go fast, which is, I like that. I know. It's like, hey, my friends are going to be here. It's Wednesday. <laughs> <laughs> I really like that. Emily comes over to my house. I love that. Favorite daughter, Emily, in case you're new. So the background, oh, this is a 16 by 20 inch canvas from Michael's. How are you, are you just looking? Yeah, I'm just looking. So this is my background palette, and I painted the background with a two inch brush. And it's just soft and muted right now. I'm not doing a whole lot with it. And then I did a vertical stripe. The colors, just to get you guys up to speed, there will be a full video from start from yeah, start to finish. For a second I thought I was misspeaking. I have Mars Black. This is Thalo Green, which I haven't used much lately. I don't try to say that whole word. I just say the yellow green. <laughs> <laughs> um, hang on, I'm just putting some paint away next to me. Oh, and then just titanium white. I was doing all that organization, I didn't need to. Titanium white. They're all Liquitex. Um, and I just made a muted gray green. So that's my background color. And there you can see I misted it. Some of the thalo green is running. And then what I do is I just put another plate right on top. I feel like I'm shouting today. Let me, guys, let me know if I'm talking too loud in the chat. And then I put it in a 10 gallon baggie to keep it fresh. It'll keep, you know, if I, if, if, it's, if it's been a week, I'll open it up and mist it. Um, I, sometimes I've started now and putting a little sponge in there, which works so much better. Hmm. Here, you'll see it in this one. That's smart. So all I did was blow up the bear photo um, to the size I wanted it, and I just used the photo as a traceable and tra transferred it on there. Yeah, see, I got a little sponge in there. <laughs> Isn't that cute? That's cute. So same colors, thalo green, Mars black. Um, this is burnt umber. Where is it? I got an, well, hang on. I've got an old tube, and it's bent. Burnt umber. I assume I'm in frame. Yeah, you're doing good. Oh, there's a commercial on the... Oh, sorry. Yeah, the big one has commercial. Yeah. Sorry. Um, I'm glad I'm doing good. And then this is burnt umber and black just for a darker brown. 
And this is raw sienna, which I haven't used yet on the painting. Raw sienna. And titanium white. So really, I just have two palettes, so I had a little more room to work. And what I might do, heads up, I might add some uh, cad yellow to, to warm it up. Maybe glaze over with some cad yellow towards the end because my sun's coming. Oh, I don't have my sun, Em. <gasps> my sun's coming from over here. I'm moving. I'm we moving. always like, what have we forgotten? Okay, next to me to my right, just in case you're cur curious, is a three-tiered cart that I just have paint and water. And things are falling over as I'm trying to stand them up. Where should he go? Is that in frame? Uh, no. <laughs> no? <laughs> I don't think so. Here, I'll move it down. Okay, and then, oh, the other thing I did. Oh, maybe it was. I can't tell. Which uh, we could have talked about before we zoomed in, but you can still see. So I'm just finding some of the dark shapes in the fur. A couple people have asked me recently, you know, will there be an in-depth video on how to paint fur? And there's as many ways to paint fur as there are artists, which could be a super frustrating statement to say. But so, if you look, I'm not doing exactly what's there, but I'll probably come in with some more darkers. But I'm just finding some dark shapes that I can then paint over with some lighter values. And if I don't do it right, then I can come back and paint some more dark, come back with some lighter values, that kind of thing. You don't have to get it right. You don't have to like get the darks just so, get the medium values and the light values just so. You, the nice thing about acrylics is it dries fairly quick and you can come back and adjust it. But so all that's what I'm doing with all these dark brown. I'm kind of, um, well not kind of, I am. He's got kind of a beard. Whoop. I don't know if you can see that, but he's got kind of a V shape. And so I just put in some of those brown values to help define that. And that's how you paint fur. And then you just come over. We'll do a little here. On the face, I was doing something a little different. He's got shorter hairs, fur mm -hmm. on his face. And I don't know why, but I was just, um, oh, here. I don't know if you can see the eye. His eye looks kind of funny there, almost like it's bloodshot. Hmm. Can you see that yeah. in the... Mm -hmm. I mean, oh. I, <laughs> Emily was look, turned around and looking. You can, you can. You can tell it's not white. <laughs> and then this eye, you can barely see. So yeah. I, I, I put it in, but I, I'm going to definitely make that darker and that one darker. Um, what was I going to say? Oh, so for the face, I started just, oh, sorry if my head got in the way there. Oh, no, honey, can you step, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Can you put that back up for me? Mm -hmm. So for the face, what I was doing is I just took a little filbert or a, a smaller brush and I was just kind of sketching in, which I like, and just finding things. And I think that might be easier for me personally. You guys, of course, do what you want. You can just paint the shapes you see. You know, like there's a little C shape here, another C shape there, and then there's kind of this curve shape. That's what I mean by shapes. And then sometimes the value changes and I'll change the color. Okay, I think that sets the table. That was quite a, quite a thing. A setup. <laughs> yeah. Oh, the other, another thing I'm thinking of, just in case you don't watch the full video, is I'm gonna also glaze, I think I'll come back and glaze over with some of the phthalo green in the shadow areas to help tie the background in. Okay, no. I always think I'm done and then I think of something else. You know what? That isn't going to work for me like that. Oh. Thanks, hon. I don't think I didn't even do anything. Can you get it underneath it? Yeah, you need it. There you go. You need to lift it higher. I need to be able to, like, zoom in on it. And... So I have my iPad teetering <laughs> on my cat's bed <laughs> next to me. All right, so I'm gonna, I think I'm going to just work with black and work on the nose and the mouth a little bit. And we'll see who all is with us tonight. Well, if you're ready to see who's with us tonight. So far in the chat, we have Leanne, Cindy, and Susie. Hi, thanks so much for joining us. I love that. I like having, having you guys here. Um, and Susie said, love that pumpkin painting and palette knife work too. Love the bouquet. Thank you. That was fun. I was all of a sudden I got in the mood. Mm -hmm. And Leanne says, "Oh wow, love those. Can't wait with three hearts." 
Oh, thank you, thank you. <laughs> I was in the face, the Annie Tro Art Fr Friends Facebook group <laughs> yesterday. A couple people had posted things they were working on. That was really fun. I love seeing that. It is fun to share ideas. I'm trying to paint. I probably won't. I'll probably stop talking so I can think. I got to warm up a little bit too. Mm -hmm. it, it's a little bit like playing a sport where it takes me a minute to kind of mm -hmm. warm up to where I'm looking at. And so what I do is my head bounces back and forth in between the reference photo and my painting. And if I don't get the values just right, that's okay. I still, my main goal right now is to define shapes. I like your underpainting process. I think it, it at least makes it look easier. <laughs> well, and that it doesn't look so hot. I think that's good. Well, or I think just, that's um, good. I think it's good that it doesn't look hot so good, so great, you know? Yeah, but the, just you, cause like I, like the artists that can literally work in one little quadrant and then like it just looks, when I see time lapses on like TikTok and stuff and then in, it's usually people that can do like hyper, hyper realism. Yeah. Um, yeah. They're following it they, so literally that they don't, they can do that. Yeah, and they just work in one little quadrant and then it just like looks instantly like realistic all around. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, I was doing that more. I would finish the eyes more often mm -hmm. in older videos. Hang on, I've got a shape here that I'm not, I drew it wrong on my, on my sketch here. Um, because I was happier. Once I got the eyes in, I was a lot happier. Mm -hmm. um, but I don't do it as much anymore. Because I'm like, oh, I don't know exactly how I want the eyes. Mm -hmm. you know? I've been, I guess I, you could say I've been moving a little bit more further from realism. Ultra realism or whatever. It's always hard to define art things because there's a million ways to say it. I know. So Emily's to my left tonight, which I like because then I can see if she's goofing off. <laughs> <laughs> she used to crochet. Yeah, I didn't bring it today. Well, we've been, the chat's been busier and you've had more stuff to do. Yeah, you have me on Google duty more often now. I do. I like the Google. <laughs> okay, so that actually goes up like this. Okay, and we have a um, a break today, right? Yeah, I want to thank people. Okay. I just want to double check. Oh, I send, when people send money to support the channel, which I super appreciate, I do send you a thank you um, email. I don't keep your email address unless, you know, you want me to. Mm -hmm. um, but I don't know if it goes to spam and stuff, so I also thank you during the lives. Try and catch you. That looks really funny. Oh, his little nose. Yeah, I'm just painting. Mm. Mm. Tracy oh. says, thank you for always providing the reference image. It's very helpful. Oh, good. Yeah, I, Unsplash is, I like Unsplash and Pixabay the, the best so far. I guess I, I should say so far because who knows? I'll find another one, you know. Which reminds me, occasionally I, um, I'll pin it. It is a top, or as like the top comment or whatever, if I remember. So I'll do that. So it's easy to find for those coming in instead of digging through the description. Well, I think that's kind of nice because then they can paint it too. The thing about um, their Creative Commons Zero I don't read their terms and service all the time, so hopefully they haven't changed it because it just says free for commercial use and all that. But then you're also still trusting that the person uploading the photos mm -hmm. is who they say they are, so it, it still is a little... A little. A little worrisome. Mm -hmm. But I just, I don't have time to go out and find a brown bear and take a photo. <laughs> You know, I mean, we, I could go to the zoo, but... 
Could you imagine if you actually, if you, if you took the photos, painted your photos? Oh, a lot of, that's how you did it. Totally did it. Well, and there's a guy, Aaron Blaze. I haven't watched his YouTube channel in a long time. He's a, he animated for Disney for a hmm. long time. Hmm. He's so good. I think it's B-L-A-Z-E. Um, you know, he'd go to Africa and, oh, dang. and his son, he and his son take the photos and it's like, wow. But then you don't have to worry about them. No. <laughs> then if someone comes after you, you're like, here it is on my, <laughs> on my computer. Well, in school, we uh, would paint like National Geographic. Like, I'm talking middle school, high school, so I don't know what year, a long time ago. Mm -hmm. But even then, they would say, okay, those are copyrighted photos. You can't sell the painting, mm -hmm. you know. So would I. Like, they, it was a, just like a box of magazines, and we had to. Like, we, we couldn't go online and print a photo. We had to just dig through the magazines for some reason. Oh, interesting. Because mm -hmm. they're, they're, gosh, if you're looking at a National Geographic, I think that photographer, photographer might even have the money to come after you for copyright infringement. You know, or, well, or the, the, like, this is for school. This isn't for... Oh, I know, but I'm just saying mm -hmm. that's interesting. Yeah. Um, and the National Geographic, definitely. Well, that's interesting. I didn't remember that. So I'm putting the puzzle together piece by piece. Mm -hmm. And then I'll come back and worry a little bit more. I mean, I know I want lighter values on the right, probably warmer colors on the right. Um, you know, I just thought of something. And then I'll come back and adjust things. I was telling Emily before the live started that the neighbor girl <laughs> rang my doorbell and she wanted to come hang out with us during the live. Um, she's been up to my studio before and we've chalked on the driveway and done fun things, but I'm just like, oh, I don't know if I'm quite ready for an, an, an audience. Per I mean, she wouldn't make me nervous, but what if she needed something? Yeah. And, you know, I'm yeah. like, oh. And an hour and a half is probably long. Probably and just as and boring. <laughs> I think she just thought it'd be cool, but yeah. Oh, Chase! Uh, Chase popped in with his nine ninety nine and his little goat emoji. Hey, Chase man! Thank you, thank you. I really appreciate it. So I noticed there's like a little. I don't know that I did the greatest job transferring this bear because, of course, there is a little connective oh, nose you, piece. You barely see it. Yeah, I'm going to put it in a little bit. And I, think, we'll, I might paint it right back out later. I think, yeah, put it in as a layer and then paint over it. <laughs> yeah, I, well, I, yeah, I do that. Well, one thing nice is, so I've, I've got... Well, black's a cool color. I've got brown, uh, raw sienna, and the green are really my three colors, plus black and white. If I add yellow, it's a fourth color, but that can, that's a real easy way to unify your paintings. And to help you look at values more and not paint every color. Oops, it's way darker than I want. There's a shape. That's kind of a neat shape. How does it go? Kind of goes like that. Kind of points down. Kind of a teardrop shape. I love the shape of his head. Kind of the wide He's oval got, yeah. football. Yeah. I like that he was looking up and I could see his eyes mm -hmm. kind of. And I don't remember if this one was a Pixabay. It might have been Pixabay. It is. It's Pixabay. Okay. I like Unsplash a little bit better because I can put I can save photos on their website um, in collections and stuff. It's really handy. We already have only ten minutes till usual break time. Well, I think yeah, yeah. That's one thing I 
I like about the wives is you guys goes, oh, she's not terribly fast. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because yeah. the, the time lapse can make it look extra speedy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Even though you go, oh, I know that took her longer, it still messes with you. Yeah. I'm not sure about that color right there. Maybe I'll, um, now that I put it in, I bet I committed, so I'm going to lighten it up. I think I better put that other nostril in. Yeah, it does look kind of like he has a deviated septum right now. (laughs) He's got a lot going on. (laughs) He or she, I'm going to need a title. Mm -hmm. It's a brown bear, according to the photo reference. It gets hard to see, too, like where you start losing stuff. I think that's where that goes. Isn't there a book, Brown Bear, for kids? Brown Bear? Little Bear? No. Oh. Eric Carl. So the Hungry Caterpillar author. Oh. So you can kind of picture the artwork. I think there, there is. is. It's the one, it's the one, um... It's the one where they eat everything, I think, or something. Well, that sounds scary. Or not. <laughs> scary. What is it? Oh, I'm Googling it. Let's see. Um, I can kind of picture it. I don't think we brown have... Brown bear, brown bear, what do you see? That's what it is. Oh. I could call it what do you see. Yeah. I don't know if anybody get the reference, though. <laughs> yeah, I think your brown bear would kind of have to look like that guy. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. He does like the, I don't know if he does the illustrations as well, but it's like photo collage. You know, I think he did. I think he does. But I don't remember. I picture this as the, I don't know if it was him, but there was one very similar where it was like, there's also a bear in that one. It's, I think it was Jack's book and it was more of a pop-up book and you would open it and then it like opens the animal's mouth. Hmm. I vaguely remember a pop-up book about that. It's probably in the closet behind me that we can't get to because I've got a ton of, got a lot of canvases mm-hmm. sitting. Oh, Leanne, um, drop nine ninety nine a super chat. Thank you, thank you. I'm saving up for a new microphone. <laughs> thank you so much. That's what, another thing I love about YouTube, like, I don't, I watch the news just occasionally to know what's going on in the world, but, like, YouTube is just such a nice, happy place. At least the YouTube I'm in. Mm-hmm. Um, and the, all, the people that I connect with through the comments and the group are just so nice. Yeah. Oh, and speaking of, I think right after our last live, I think on Thursday, when we were hanging out, um, we hit, did we hit 300 people in the in the besties group on Facebook? Oh, yeah, maybe. I yeah, we have know. 307 members now. Oh, so. that's so cool. Yeah. 300 creative, really creative, kind people to hang out with. So, I, um, really, I should use a backup. But I can back up on my brush, and then I won't be as tight when I paint. You know, there. I was I was on top of it, choked up like a pencil. Mm-hmm. Nothing wrong with it, but it'll go faster if I if I kind of if it forces you to lose kind of control. Forcing, yeah, or even a longer brush so that art the long brushes are so you can be back from your canvas and actually see what's going on. Mm-hmm. Of course, use whatever you want. Don't worry about like what you're supposed to do. Because as soon as you're supposed to do something, then some famous artist challenged it and made, Very a, true. made a masterpiece. and Signing your name on a urinal. Yeah, I never <laughs> remember which artist that is. Oh. Oh, I know. It always just, like, it sits right. It's in art history books. In stuff. my brain, and then I can never. Yeah, I don't know who that is. Um, 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 um. So I'm just bouncing around between dark grays and blacks and light grays. Do comp. C-H-A-M-P? Mm-hmm. I think it's Duchamp. Duchamp? Yeah, but I'm, I think so. Marcel, yeah, it'd yeah, be yeah, Duchamp. Yeah, yeah, Marcel, yeah. 
Yeah. I used to know all those guys. Well, all, almost all guys, especially in the history books. Mm-hmm. That's what I was saying, because then um, when you started getting into art YouTube, um, I mean, maybe there, there probably are, but I feel like there are more women YouTubers oh, that know. are artists than men, but I don't know. Well, I don't know, because, I mean, maybe in the traceable arena, yeah. Oh, uh, the arena. <laughs> Yes. That was an interesting word. I, I like chose, that. It? Yeah, but the I'm still not totally district. sure. But like I watch um, Andrew Tisch Tischler. Mm -hmm. I think he's in Australia. He's pretty cool. I watch um, Chris For Fornatero. He goes by the pink coach. And there's Paul. Paul Ransom. And Dan. Paul was just, uh, he was on, um, oh, I can't remember. It's over in the UK. It's like a craft channel. And he did a little behind the scenes. I linked yeah. it in the Facebook group so people. Oh, can... I think I saw that. Yeah. Yeah. How cool is that? He so was... Maybe there are about equal because we just listed yeah. quite a few. I think they just maybe don't do the traceables. Yeah. And there's probably a guy out there that does traceables. I just don't know. But yeah, I mean, you think of, you know, the art Sherpa, Ginger Cook, Angela Anderson. And there was another, somebody hmm. painter. Um, oh, Michelle the painter? Yes. Yeah, I don't know if she does. She might do traceables. I don't know much about her. So I could smooth all that out if I don't like it. But it actually might be fine once I... Um, you know what I should do is put a little brown or green in the nose. But I can hmm. come over. I can come back with another color. So it isn't like mm -hmm. a black nose on a brown a body. Glaze. Yeah, but it's already coming together. Like, you can already tell the... Is it? I'm on yeah. top of it, so it looks terrible. Well, because you really see up his nose since he's looking up. I am looking up his nose. And that's... When I say terrible, it's... Don't... Don't worry. I just think that's honest. I don't think it's, like, a horrible thing. It just takes time and layers and... And I'm kind of pokey because I want to, the nose is important. That's too dark, but I'm going to leave it. So I want to get that shape in there mm -hmm. and then come back and there. That's way too dark. Here, I'll show you what I'm, why I'm saying that. Yeah, oh yeah, now I can grab that better. <laughs> so I am painting that shape is going to eventually be lighter like this. That's that right there. Hopefully there's not too much glare. But I can always lighten it up. Or darken it up. His nose is so cute in that photo. <laughs> it's got a little bear it's nose. My, I was thinking it's my first bear, but it's not. I have a palette knife bear. You have a polar bear. Yeah, I have a polar bear. And I have a palette knife brown bear. Do you remember like I had the glass Christmas ornament with the score? Oh. Oh, yes. And I did a palette knife collection, sort of a woodland uh -huh. way back. I forgot that. I was thinking this was my first bear until I, like, it's not. It's my first brushed bear. No, oh, no, the polar bear is brushed. I think I might do another polar bear this year. I'm going to start ornaments soon. Maybe we'll paint some of the ornaments on the lives. Oh, yeah, we totally could. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, Hema says, that's a big canvas. <laughs> 16 by 20? Yeah. Um, go, oh gosh, not compared to the three cows I painted. That was a 30 by 40. That was, that was a big canvas. I can go up to about 30 or 36 by 40. That fits in my VW bug. To get it down to the gallery. When I interviewed at the downtown gallery, they are like, you know, because I brought in small paintings because it was easier to mm -hmm. bring a couple and then the interview and then pack them up and get out of yeah. there quick kind of thing. And um, they're like, do you just paint small? I'm like, no, I go up to about a 30 by 40. And then they say, well, do you do any bigger? And I'm like, no, it won't fit in my car, my VW bug. And they were chuckling, chuckling because <laughs> it's like, oh, well, of course, you got to be able to get it here. Yeah. But it's a big space, so you don't want like a whole bunch of little... Mm -hmm. Although they do have the small gallery too. 
I don't know why I decided to tell that story. I need to stop here pretty soon and yeah, meet people. Technically, 6.30 on the dot. Okay. But obviously it's our break, so you can be late if you want to. Yeah, his nose is already coming together. Yeah, it's starting to. It's actually pretty dark over here. Every time I look back at Freckle, she's in a different swirl position. Oh, is she? Mm-hmm. She was kind of on her back, but like, kind of on her back where her legs, her hind legs are still kind of tucked in and then her head's like shoved up behind her shoulder. Aww. And then now she's in her little cinnamon, perfect cat swirl. Oh, I didn't say I've got like a quarter inch filbert from I don't know where. Probably Zoo Tink because the paint's all oh, uh -huh. off bet. of it. I bet. Yeah. So that's Amazon. Uh, Z H U T I N G, I think. So one thing I kind of want to do, and then I'll stop and thank people, is I kind of want a smooth, hard edge on the side of that nose. So I'm going to grab a a little round brush and get it wet. Number three. I might need a little more water. Oh, if you kind of want to get a point, you can roll it. Hmm. I'm going to choke up. I leaned in, like ready to, <laughs> uh -huh. ready to watch. Well, and then it's annoying because, oh, here's something why, so I don't forget about it. So I am painting already, even at this nose level, above my shoulder. You want to have your canvas lower and paint from your shoulder down. Because um, your arm's going to get tired. But for videoing purposes, I have it higher. So now I've got this too dark and that's bugging me. I'm just going to kind of do that. And you don't have to get it. The nice thing is you don't have to get it exact. No one's going to be comparing the reference photo to your painting. Bears, just like any human, they're all different. Have, like some will have bigger noses. I have to get it just so. Well, that's going to be too light, but I think I might leave it anyway just so I remember. Get a couple of those little, I suppose those are pores on his nose. I keep saying he. This must be a he. Mm -hmm. It must be. So I just put some straight up white there, but it's going to dry darker with that darker gray underneath it, which I am going to like, I think. I keep wanting to fuss with this nose. I can tell. <laughs> He already looks good. I'm. He came together fast. Oh, it does look pretty good when I look at yeah. the computer. I had to look through through your head. <laughs> <laughs> that's not exactly what I meant to say. Well, to me, that's kind of slow. But finding the shapes is, is a good way to. Whoops, wrong color. Is a good way, or wrong value. A good way to think about it. And eventually, the shapes will come together into the thing. Mm-hmm. That's probably more detail than I really need. Yeah, I think we're good there. All right, I want to stop a second. So I'm going to mist. I've got fans running. This is just water and an old... A fine mist is nice rather than a, a bigger drop mm -hmm. mist. This is a glass... At one point, this had glass cleaner for eyeglasses in it. And I might have missed it a little too much since I'm holding my palette up. Sometimes I get colors that want to run then. Okay. So thank you, Robin F. And thank you, D. C. <laughs> I want to put a pause in there because her first name is D. The last, uh, her last name starts with the letter C for sending money to support the channel. Super appreciate it. Um, I did send you a thank you email. Hopefully you guys got that. And that's the only announcements I have. I just wanted to take a second and thank you guys. <laughs> oh, well, while you're 
Did you want to or not? Oh, well, hey, just in case you're watching. It's still 30 minutes in. Uh-oh. <laughs> I got flowers from the neighbor girl. That she rang the doorbell just a little bit ago. I'm assuming I can say her first name because she's in some of the chalk mm -hmm. videos. Mm -hmm. So thank you, Gracie. They're beautiful. That was so nice. She had a couple of bouquets and she was giving them to the neighbors. <laughs> like, how cool is that? I can't. I can't remember the last time I got flowers. And as an artist, I really should buy them and paint them. You know. <laughs> It would have been probably from me for like Mother's Day or yeah. Usually I'd rotate if I don't have any. Well, yeah, if I don't have anything to get you, I like that. One. Used to be harder, but now that this whole thing's I'm painting rolling. You know the 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 birthday what you want for your birthday or possible Christmas list that doesn't. It's always got something. <laughs> yeah. Hey, buy me some uh, wood wooden cradled panels. Yeah, whereas cradled usually, wood panels. Usually I at least. I feel like usually, was it probably Mother's Day I would usually do that? I feel like that's a Mother's Day thing. Oh yeah, I like getting flowers. I remember when I was too young to get, or I was too young to drive. And so I had like, I had, um, but I wanted to get you like Mother's Day flowers. Oh, yeah. And so I got Jack to do, I think we went late at night. I think you did too. And I think you know we left for some reason. I don't know, I, we probably weren't that quiet. Well, theoretically, we snuck out of the house and then got you flowers. Aw. Um, no, then... I don't know that I knew because that's when I, I came downstairs and found them. Yes. And then, no, yeah, I don't know if I knew. Oh, you knew um, when I was able to drive, the first present I ever got you oh, on my yeah. own, okay. I was like, I I wasn't like shaking like a leaf, but I was acting real strange about like where I needed to go and what I needed to do. You're being a little sketch. <laughs> So you were just like, where are you going? And I'm like, uh, mm, mm, I don't know. That was funny. But yeah, I think, well, you wrote me a note. I think I cried. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. I, might, I think I have that note someplace. I don't know where, but I think it's in one of my desks. I'm just putting in the mouth, which is hard to see, but um, in the reference photo, but I'm just going to put it in black and then. Actually, I might uh, grab a little burnt umber just to change the color. Which doesn't make sense because this is more the shadow side, but I think it'll be totally fine. He's kind of got a down frown. Mm, he does. He does have a little down frown. Maybe, um, okay, this will be funny. In the reference photo, it kind of goes straight, but I could bring it up a little and see if I can get away with it and kind of make him smile. We'll see what happens. I might paint that out. I oh, you could. I, I think if you just define that little cheek thing a little more. Yeah, I kind of like that. We'll mm -hmm. see We'll see how much I dislike that. <laughs> as long as I have the brown. Oh, I'm going to grab a little of my raw sienna. I haven't even used any yet. A little brown. Okay, so I think that, now we're going to go kind of back to sketching and speedier, a little more excitement. Is this going to be in M um, if I go? Oh, sorry. Where do you want to go? If I go down here. Yeah, basically, um, yeah, you're good. You got like maybe three inch, you can go, you can see the bottom of the canvas right below where you are. Okay. And I think I'll just grab some of the cooler brown. Yeah, put that right, right there. To me, this is a little bit more fun than the nose. Actually, it might be kind of fun. Let's grab a little. I don't, what do we get if we do phthalo green? Isn't that a gorgeous color? I think that I like the phthalos. Mm-hmm. And. Brown. They're my, one of my favorites. Oh, yeah, we're going to get kind of a black color. Kind of like the cow painting. It's very similar colors, really. Right? I use phthalo blue green shade. It was a blue. Let's put a little bit of that in there. Oh, it's greener than I thought. Let's go ahead and do it, though. I 
And it's like, how do you know what color? Sometimes I just switch colors to make it more interesting and more entertaining for the person who's looking at the painting. Not because there's some sort of... I know it's in shadow, so I want it dark. The value is going to be more important than the color. So this is my brown and black combo. That's too dark. Just throw some in here. Kind of quiet today. It is a little quiet today. It's windy outside here in Omaha. It's hot, I think. It is. It is kind of. It's like not. It's dry? Hot? Is it not humid? Um, I haven't been outside since I walked this morning, but I haven't been outside. I think there's a little. It's not that dry. It's There is a little something, something. Is it? So my little mixing puddle's dry, but that's okay. Just mix right on top of them. Or whatever works for you. Okay, so this kind of comes up and gets close to the mouth. Actually, it would connect to the mouth. His, his, uh, that's got to be his, actually, you know, if I didn't curve his mouth up, it would come about here and connect barely. But we're going to see if we can get away with a slightly sm smile. I, I think you should, if you can keep it, I think you should keep it. It doesn't look out of, yeah, I mean, as it is right now, it doesn't look out of place. No, but it also makes it just a smidge, like, mm -hmm. less like I'm going to eat you. <laughs> yeah, more <laughs> inviting. Less, a little more inviting. Yeah, less. Um, and his eyes are pretty round. I don't really have them defined very well, but they have nice round arches, which will help him look happier. Especially, it doesn't in the reference photo, but I can even arch that up a little bit more. Here, I could do it. Just to remind me. Make him, him, I need a name. I'm gonna grab a little white so it covers. Just maybe arch it up just a smidge more. Hmm, I don't know if we, I know I talked about the cat fiasco last week. About oh, it's how so much, expensive. Yeah, how much the vet wanted. Um, but I don't know if I went, if I had mentioned that like, um, they did pre, basically like the pre-op test to make sure that you, it's okay to even put our Maya um, under for the teeth cleaning if, if like, you know, the anesthesia wouldn't harm her or something. Um, so they took blood and pee and her urine sample came back with like two plus protein. And since the test doesn't fully test it, that could mean anything from she's pretty dehydrated or dehydrated to she has kidney disease. <laughs> so then, and the pee's only good for like a day, I guess. So then we went ahead and had them further test. But um, I don't remember if I had said that. I oh, probably, think. no, because I bet the test didn't come back yet. Maybe it did. I can't remember. Either way, but Maya... She's just like me. She hates drinking water, and she's only severely dehydrated. She does not have um, kidney disease. Yay. Yay. She doesn't seem severely dehydrated either. I know. So I started putting, like, um, a couple extra teaspoons in her wet food. And she the first time I did it, she looked at me like, what is this soup? And by now, she eats it just fine. <laughs> Good. Mm-hmm. I'm kind of defining a little bit of the chin here so I don't lose it. I might come back and change that. Okay. So last couple lives like this, I've done the bigger stuff, like a bigger ear. Mm -hmm. So I thought this time we would do focus a little more smaller work. Oh, Lucinda says Humphrey is a friendly name. Oh, Humphrey That's is. That's kind of cute. I think of Humphrey Bogart, who I never, I don't know if I've watched any of those movies. I'm going to write down Humphrey. That's cute. That's cute. And I keep, I kept thinking like Pooh Bear or like something like that because he's a bear. But I feel like Humphrey gives me like. It's a little bigger bear. Well, what are all, like pigger, Piglet, ra uh, Tigger, and um, and Humphrey. Eeyore, and Humphrey. <laughs> it gives me, yeah, it gives me, <laughs> it gives me Pooh Bear vibes. So it kind of achieves what I was 
Because all I could think of was Pooh Bear, Pooh Bear, Pooh Bear. I think that's so funny. I think people are like, these, these gals are funny. <laughs> <laughs> little, little, little off. Good hearted, oh. but a little off. Um, I can't remember if I told you when I called you or um, on my way, but, um, but the two. vet said that we can't feed. Maya's getting her tooth pulled and her teeth cleaned next Friday. And I can't feed them after both of them, really, because there's no way that Maya will let Mango eat without her. Right. So I can't feed both cats, even though one's only going in um, and after midnight. And she's like, so really just skip breakfast. And I'm just thinking, like, they eat at 3. Like, they have an automatic feeder. They eat at 3.30. They're going to be screaming at me at 3.30. But I didn't share that with the vet tech, but I was like, oh, that's going to be a rough night. It is. Because, I mean, if their food doesn't show up by 4, 4.30, I'm going to be getting a, a a wake up meow right in my face. Oh, yep. Yep. Just yep. Like, yeah, Freckles does that. She, uh, the only time she paws at me in the middle of the night is like, hey, I'm out of food. Hey. Because she free, she feeds, eats whenever she wants. I have dry food out all the time. Mm-hmm. Which, but then vets look at me funny. I'm like, I've done that for, she's however old. Yeah. She doesn't gain weight. We're good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you don't need to give me the look. Yeah, my vet, my vet gave me the look. <laughs> yeah, your vet gave me the look. I'm like, I'm not paying you for that. <laughs> don't give me the look. I mean, if my cat, I've never had it. I went to a bigger brush, and that's a little too big to get in there. Mm -hmm. um, if I had a cat that was eating too much, then I wouldn't do that. Mm -hmm. But she doesn't. So I just mix kind of a gray, creamy. It looks creamier. Um, just kind of get the top of the nose. I wonder how far down I can bring this. Of course, I can paint over it. I, see, I, I say that both for you guys and I would say that to myself if nobody was here with me hanging out while I work. It'll be interesting to see. I haven't painted a bear for one of the galleries. It'll be interesting to see how fast this sells. I suppose you might want it in an office. It'd be cute in an office. You know. Just making some gray, light colored mud. So here brush stroke directions is going to help me. And look cute in someone's cabin, if you want to be very specific. Oh yeah, there's cabins around here. Mm-hmm. Um, if somebody's husband wants to hang a, like, a deer head or a bear head that they've well, I sell buffalo, so... I well, yeah, but I'm just thinking, like, oh. here's the compromise. We'll have a bear painting <laughs> and not oh. the actual, like, taxidermy. Oh, yeah, sorry. I wasn't... I was somewhere else, I guess. But I assume, I don't think you can with bears. Brown. That's a brown bear in there. I don't... Yeah, I don't know the... I think they're endangered. Oh, are they? <gasps> I'm not even sure where they live. They don't live in Omaha. Yeah, one just lives down the street in the house in the corner. <laughs> oh, I so hope not. <laughs> Let's see here. So I'm just finding some shadow landmarks so I don't, I kind of don't lose my place too much. And I've lost my place and then have to come back and fix things. That's where it helps if you work on your drawing skills. Mine are rusty, but they're... Good enough that I, I know to go slow, piece it out, and I'll find the, you know, like I'll say, okay, you know, the nose ends here, and the mouth is about another, you know, inch, and then I, of course, I curved it up. Yeah, actually, the mouth stops just past the nose, so that's how, what I mean by practicing drawing, so you have the relationships. Mm. Population is stable. Huh. I would wonder if I wonder if I haven't found out where they are specifically in North I, America. I, I but feel I like bet, California. But I was going to say West Coast because California's state flag has a bear on it. Oh, does it? Mm -hmm. huh. My uh, my uh, burnt umber's drying out, so I'm going to get a dip my palette knife in some water and just cut a little bit of water into it. That can be helpful, and that can bite you in the backside because the water evaporates faster than, say, acrylic medium. 
I could put matte medium in it, but that'll make it more transparent. I'm gonna try spraying it a little bit too. My burnt umber always, I think it's the clay or something in there. I don't know what makes the burnt umber color, but it dries out quicker. Okay, so do I need to worry about anything else here? Oh, I kind of want to find whatever that is. Washington, Idaho, Montana, and Wyoming. Oh, oh but this says there are fewer than, oh, this is 2012. Maybe they've done something. Because I was going to say, this says there are fewer than 2,000 remaining. And I thought when we were oh. watching Yellowstone, like, the guy, um, when the bear was, like, charging at him or whatever. Oh, that's right. I thought he was going to get in trouble because it was a protected species. Yellowstone, the, the, the TV, TV series, yeah. just in case somebody doesn't know. We finally just watched it. <laughs> oh, you're right. I forgot all about that. So that's where I think I got that from, but... Well, and they do, you know, shows put in actual facts like that. Mm -hmm. So he's got kind of a uh, raw sienna, raw umber. I think it's raw sienna. Raw sienna um, color, I don't know what to call it, color area. I'm going to put in... I found a website called BeBearAware.org. <laughs> oh. So brush stroke directions help. Oh, I, I went up to a 3 8 inch, maybe a half inch filbert. Emily was talking or I was talking and I didn't say anything. We'll blame it on M. Yeah, I'll take it. Take the hit. I'm going to grab a little brown and just shift the values a little bit. Okay, right here there's a, right there, and then right here, let's grab this. There's a dark area. So try not to think of it as fur as so much as just, and you don't have to go this detail. You could just paint it flat. You don't have to paint in the, the hairs. You could just paint it... Um, like we did the apple. I don't know if you saw that in the intro. It was up and above my head. You don't have to paint in all the hairs mm -hmm. like I do. Furs. Furs. Okay, here. I was doing this. Oh, this. That's what's wrong. I need to go this direction. That'll help me. So there. That's pretty flat right there. It's not a problem. His little goatee stands out. I bet. <laughs> I feel like that's one of his... What was the name? Harrington? Humphrey. Humphrey. Um, I, don't know I, I feel like that's one of his defining features. I would say like Paddington, because he's a bear. Yeah, but then or Corduroy, kind of... but like oh, oh, corduroy. trademark. <laughs> right. But Corduroy, the word. Is not. It could not be, but I guess probably Corduroy in pertaining to bears is probably. Totally could be. Um, well, and then I'm thinking, you know, like I, my buffalo have, I mean, it's sexist, but men bought them. And so I'm wondering if a man would buy the bear and might love corduroy. I mean, who knows? Mm -hmm. You know, it's so hard. Okay. I think that's, oops, I just lifted up my paint. I'll just go ahead and do that a little more. Okay. Could just save yourself and be corduroy, corduroy, nothing to do with corduroy, the bear who wears corduroy overalls. <laughs> How many times did she say corduroy? Put corduroy. in the chat. <laughs> <laughs> Lance says Mr. Grizzly. Oh, yeah. It That's could be, cute. I think it could be a grizzly. I really don't know the difference. I think Neither the, do I. I think the photographer said it was a brown bear, but. That's one of the fun things about painting animals, <laughs> is you kind of get to know them. Um, Michael says, bear e Manilow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, now, now, I've, now I've got him in my, I can hear him, now i got a song in my head. That's good, actually. That, that falls in line with how I like to do my titles. Because sometimes the chuckle sells the pain. Mm -hmm. 
I mean, I can't. You can't be funny with everything, but. Bear E. Manilow. That's pretty funny. Thanks for the title ideas. You guys are the best. I'm the worst at that. So he's kind of got a, I don't know what to call this shape. It kind of goes like this, and then it goes a little bit like that. Probably follows the structure of his face. See, that's flat. That's what I mean by you could just paint it flat. You don't have to have all the hairs. Yay. Yay. I was like worried about it. Use that term, and what did I mean? And <laughs> how are you going to know? And see, I painted out some of my line there. For now, I want to put it back in. I'm not ready to soften things yet. Okay. And then he's kind of got. So this almost connects, it has a break, and then it picks up. And then it goes up under his nose like a mustache. Oh, I could have turned the air conditioning down. I didn't even think of that. If you get hot, you can go do that. I'm actually okay. I'm okay, too. I have the fan blowing in the door since I'm further from it. Oh, okay, that's what it is. I was wondering if it wasn't because you, you were standing near the vent. So, like, I don't know, your body's just absorbing all of the AC. No, I've got, <laughs> usually I push the fan back because yeah, I'm closer to right. it when I'm by my mm -hmm. art table. Let's see, I think that needs to come up a little more. <laughs> what? It just looks funny to me. Um, sometimes I just laugh, like, oh, that just looks funny. Yeah, he's kind of getting a, a little baby stash going. He's got a little stash. Mm -hmm. I'm going to lighten this up just so I don't lose the nose. But it actually needs to be darker, I think. It's just kind of a that shape. <clears throat> Excuse me, guys. <laughs> so I'm gonna like painting the mouth. I gotta, sh I gotta show you. Well, actually, I'm gonna, yeah, the mouth. Mm -hmm. I think especially the mouth. Well, and the ears are gonna be fun. Cause oh look, yeah. Because I can put in, you can paint the shape, then you can come back and put in a couple of crazy hairs. But the mouth has like lots of little. I hope there's not a bunch of gray, like some gray whiskers that come over. Actually, I need to draw this shape. Now that I zoom in, I can see that a little bit better. But it's going to be fun to throw in a few wild, crazy hairs in there. That's one thing I like about painting animals is um, when they have fur and throw in a crazy hair or two. You don't need them all. Just put in a couple. But while, I'm think while I saw that, I'm going to come back and um, grab my brown, black, and let's um, define that a little better. I'm going to grab a little, there, yeah, kind of doing it already. Here, let's put one, another one. <laughs> to me, that's fun. Somebody else might go, oh my gosh, I don't want to do all that. <laughs> that's going to drive me in, you know, crazy. Mm -hmm. That's what, what makes your art your art. I'm going to shape this a little bit. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it kind of goes this way. Might need to let's just lighten it up a pinch. You can always come back and darken it. It can save you. Oh, hang on. I've got it drawn out to here, but my mouth stops. I need to zoom in on my mouth. Oh, he's kind of got like a white halo. Hmm. Here, let's do this so I don't forget to. Oh, it does. Yeah, it's a, it's a light thing. A little soon to put this in, but I want to remember. Mm-hmm. So I'm going to just do a little bit of this. Oh, I wonder if, um, so just a couple of days ago, we were every, um, or like leading up to Halloween, we always watch Halloween movies. Oh, yes. But I not like, like Halloween, like, the actual Halloween, because there are, is it, who's the Halloween? Is that? Who's the Halloween? Like the, like the movie Halloween. Is that? Oh, um, that's like a scary thing. Is that Michael Myers? Is that the Halloween movies? 
I don't know which person's the Halloween. Anyway, it does not matter. We watch like the family friendly Halloween movies that like are Hocus like Pocus. Hocus Pocus. Yeah. Um Oh, uh, the haunted, haunted Mansion. Haunted Mansion. We're gonna do Beetlejuice. Um what's Casper. The, Casper. Did you know that she hate like um I saw like an interview with um what's her name? The girl that plays the young girl in Casper. Something Richie? Is she a oh. Richie? Oh. She was in some other stuff too. Yes. I can't think I don't know what her name is. But she's like I she's like I can't watch um I can't watch that. I, I can't rewatch myself in that movie. I think my acting is awful, but I understand that people love it. Um oh, no, I did not know that. I was like, oh, but let's see here. What's our list so far? I have to scroll put back. Put some through. white in here, which I don't think I'm gonna ultimately like, but I, I'm losing the, his <laughs> glow. I think yellow might work really well. I think I'm gonna probably pull in some yellow. I feel like I've missed it. I feel like I've scrolled too far. Oh, sorry. What were you? You were saying. I was so just I'm... trying to find our list. I know you texted it to me. Oh, it's kind of in bits. I know. But, like, I don't even... When did we talk? <laughs> was that before Monday? Was that Friday? I don't know. Or Saturday? I don't know who oh. I am. <laughs> or where were you when I called you? I think you were down here. I think it was Saturday. I think you were downstairs. Okay, the Eddie Murphy Beetlejuice. <laughs> oh, we were going to try the Witches of Eastwick. That's in... Oh, yeah, I've not seen that. I haven't seen that one either. Anybody Adam's like Family the... and Anybody... Ghostbusters. Oh, Adam's Family. Anybody like the Witches of Eastwick? Is it worth watching? Yeah, but I let, figure... Let Emily know in the chat. I figure chat and replay people can leave comments... Oh, yeah, the comments, ...of suggestions. Because we do this every year of, like, I feel like we're missing one. Yeah, what should we watch? What's your favorite Halloween movie? That's easier. If you watch them, maybe not everybody. Oh, yeah, he's got... I'm not going to put anybody. He's got a hair that goes totally the wrong direction. Mm -hmm. I'll probably put that one in. <laughs> <laughs> Cause I like that. This is too light for over here. But as I say that, I'm going to darken anyway. But I'm also just wanting to get shapes. Let's see, that's going to be too dark and bug me. And I was right. Halloween is Michael Myers. Oh. Huh. I must not know who that is. <laughs> um, he's one that walks slow. And... Um, the lady that, oh, what's her name? Activia. <laughs> That's like Freaky Friday and Activia. Octavia um, Spencer? Activia, the oh. yogurt that's good for oh, digestion. Okay. What's She's the lady in the commercials, and she's in Freaky Friday, and she's the mom in Freaky Friday. Oh, 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 Jamie Lee Curtis. Jamie Lee, yes. She, she, she's in the first whatever ones, and I think she's in the new ones that they rebooted, but right. she's in those. She is in the Halloween. That's... Yeah, so that's the Michael Myers ones. Oh, now I'm finally there. That took a long... That was hard work for you to get me there. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Lucinda says, could be um, Humphrey Bergart. Oh, <laughs> If yeah, we're going to go totally. pun, pun names. Totally. I'll write that also as a list. Let's see. Huh? I'm glad you're in because I already forgot the other one. That Michael. Um, Bear E. Manilow. Oh, yeah. Bear. Bear, Bear Space. E. Yeah, E, period, Manilow. Manilow. <laughs> Humphrey. Bear God. I was saying to you, my favorite son, Emily's brother, Jack, I'm like, I just am not tired of doing animal portraits. <laughs> I keep going to them. And well, the design is easy, really. You know, I don't have... I think this nose... And the eye runs on a th almost a third. Eh, probably a little in. Do you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. But really, I, I, I almost have the face. Well, so the bear is going to come close to this within like a, you probably can't see it. comes within a finger width of the left edge, but I've got probably a hand width or more of the right edge. So the entire bear isn't centered. But also, since he's looking up, I thought, well, let's have him have something to look up into. So I moved him to the left, too. So I do think a little bit about design. But with a portrait, you can't... It doesn't get too critical. Do we do it with Christmas movies? 
Or do we just do the Halloween movies? I always watch It's a Wonderful Life, but I watch that by myself usually. It's pretty slow, but I like it. I feel like one year we did, like, I don't know where we would have watched them if we just watched them on real-time TV. Maybe when you were younger, but... I feel like we did, like, all the old claymation ones, but I don't know. I don't think we do a Christmas movie, uh -oh. just the Halloween ones. Hocus Pocus is one of my favorite movies. Yeah. Hopefully the second one is... I hope it's good. I hope it's good. I didn't know it was coming out. Emily just told me a couple days ago that there's another Hocus Pocus coming out. Mm-hmm. Sisters? Everybody else is like, what? We didn't watch it? <laughs> Did you know that that movie like came out in July? The first time it came out in the 90s? Well, but they had like they. How did they get had breath? Because like when they're in the forest in the in the opening, and he's running. Um, I don't remember the guy's the boy's name. Is running to get Emily because the witches have her, and you can see mm -hmm. his breath. Mm -hmm. Maybe it was just early enough morning and cool wherever they video filmed it. Filmed it, yeah. They probably oh, filmed Zachary, it in Zachary Banks. Yes, <laughs> I thought it was Thackeray though. Oh, it is probably Thackeray. Like the T A. <laughs> Old school. Mm -hmm. I'm paying in way too much detail, but it's fun. And I'll probably end up paying it out. I, I tend to do that. I get, like, caught in the minutia of it. And it has a little bit of a lion-y feel to it. I haven't painted... I don't know if I've ever painted a lion. I have that on my list. My long list. That's a good thing, to have a long list. And then I do right turns and get into... Palette knife and structure gel. <laughs> okay, so I was kind of on this kick. I'm going to warm it up compared to what's in the reference photo. If I don't like it, then we'll just change it. So I need to kind of make a decision about that. Well, I don't have to do it right now, but I think I will. I'm grabbing a little water because things are drying out. Okay, I don't know if that's going to be the right value. So, okay, I had this line just so I remember where it is. And then I put in that almost shape that doesn't have any first strokes in it, and then I'm going to kind of come into this line and paint over it. And if I don't like it, then I can come back with some black. So that's where it's like you don't have to start with the dark if you don't want to, because I am going to go back and forth with the values and what's going where anyway. That makes sense. I'm going to lighten this up just a smidge up here so it kind of turns a little. That'll help remind me. A lot of this is reminders and getting paint down, finding shapes. I'll think of stuff when I'm going along and I'll go, oh, I kind of want that. I think I want it lighter. Oh. And then my brush is so dirty and loaded with the paint it doesn't get lighter. I'm d I think I'm doing a decent job remembering to lift my palette up. Hope I am. Just yell at me, yell at Emily in the chat if there's anything. Any questions you have or anything I'm not showing? You can put them in the comments if you're watching the replay. It actually gets darker as it goes around the corner here a little bit. So I like to get the nose and the eyes in because there's a hair that goes over it, you know, kind of. In general, I paint back, like the background in this case, to front, shadows to lighter. But you can see I'm not literally doing that because I've been putting lights in here in this area. And this is actually warm. I've got this warmer than it is in the reference photo. But if I add the yellow glaze later, this will be plenty cool. I'll know later if it's working better, working okay or not. Don't always know right away. I'm just kind of putsy tonight. Little brush, slower. 
He's got like full on goatee going. Yeah, it does. I think that's why it looks a little liony to me. Oh, probably, yeah. And I'm gonna lose the mouth, but I can still tell her that, tell her it is and come back and. Mm-hmm. I think I'm gonna use raw sienna here, even though it's more of a brown. So I don't know, am I, with the yellow green, I'm not, it's, it's a blue color, so I guess I am kind of still hinting at compliments. Yeah, because those are orangey brown, some of them are. Yeah. Or am I? Yeah, because I've got, yeah, kind of orange and blue going. It's not, I wouldn't call them compliments, maybe like, um, oh, I don't know what to call it. Compliment adjacent. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. That is way lighter than it is. Well, no, I don't know. That needs to go darker. But I'm assuming that helps. Because that's literally what I think. Oh, that needs to go darker. Mm hmm I think it helps. Your thoughts might be different, but... <laughs> is my opinion not the most important opinion? Oh, I think I have to say yours is absolutely the most important <laughs> opinion. <laughs> You're running the chat. You you help me so much. I I love you. <laughs> oh, maybe I went too far there. Did I go too far with the love? No. No, no. Oh, I love you so much, honey. I love you too. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, we say that all the time. It just felt weird on a live. <laughs> it does. I felt like I just said I love you, mom, in a business meeting or something. Yeah. You did. You totally did. Um, I didn't start that. I know. I start. I asked for that. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, I thought I'd started that, but. Um, heartless bulldogs say I paint. Uh, says I paint with watercolor, but want to try acrylic. I tried it one time, but the paint on my palette dried so quickly. Any tips? Yeah, it does. Um, put out. Let's see. It it's just totally depends on the the weather in your area and in your house or your studio. Put out even bigger blobs because you can always poke into it. Mm. Um, it'll skin over, but you'll have paint underneath it. I occasionally mist it, which I really need to do because it's pretty hot and dry today. Um, if it just dries, scrape it off, put out fresh. My puddles dry that I'm mixing in these little ones all the time on me, but that, like, I'll kind of come back and go, oh, can I get some gray? Oh, it actually isn't dry. Um, you know, and I just mix a little more. You've got your base colors, so you can know, and then like I put them in between so I know that this is a brown black because it's in between the two. So I give myself little clues too. Um, but you can always just scrape it off and mix more. Um, sometimes I have to do that. What else? Um, um, uh, Michael says um, a retarder would help, too. Yeah, I never liked the retarders. A lot of people do. That's a great idea. Thanks, mm -hmm. Michael. Um, something that says extender or retarder. Mm -hmm. You could put matte medium in it. That would do similar, but it also will make those, probably any of those additives like that will make them more transparent, which isn't a problem. You just need to know that it does. Mm-hmm. Yeah, watercolor, I don't know. I feel like it dries fast, too, unless, of course, you've soaked your paper and then you lay down a wash. Mm -hmm. um, and then I always, once I liked what the wash did, I would whip out the hair dryer, even though some watercolor purists are like, you have to let it dry on its own, you know. I'm like, ah, let's get the hair dryer out. And, <laughs> um, I actually have watercolor traceables. They're, they're in a booklet on my website. I need to upload. I have a whole. I have like a whole other bunch I could upload if I can just get to it. I used to teach in-person watercolor classes. Um, uh, to switch your brain back, but um, Michael had earlier had said um, favorite daughter, favorite opinion. <laughs> yes, I'm so glad you guys are here to help me. <laughs> I need help. I'm painting. I'm talking. I can't always come up with the right. Yes, favorite daughter, favorite opinion. I 
I should remember that for when I have lunch with Jack. But then you're really stuck if Jack and I are disagreeing, and then what do you do? Oh, well, that was like when you guys were young. <laughs> Who's your favorite? You're my favorite daughter. Did Jack ask you that much? I feel like I was the one that was, like, annoying <sighs> with that. It's interesting. I remember some things so well, and some things are a blur. Mm -hmm. I don't remember. I'm going to put in, I'm going to, I'm pretty zoomed in on my photo. I'm going to zoom out some. I'm going to put in some, um, hmm. um, sorry. Oh, I'm just, it's way too soon, really, probably. Mm -hmm. Um, but it'll help me if I have some directional, like that's too fat. Um, but just reminders. Go ahead. Um, Heartless Bulldog said, I found them. Thank you for sharing those. The traceables are so very helpful. Oh, good. The, um, the booklet, the watercolor booklet, it has photo steps. Yeah, you and, went all out with that. Well, that's because when I was teaching in person, one of the group of ladies really wanted to come and talk. And more than like, <clears throat> you know, here, we're going to paint this, and mm -hmm. everybody paint this, and we're going to paint this. Um... So I did photo steps, and they could just kind of look at the photo steps and talk and paint. And mm -hmm. They're not the greatest photos, because it was really originally just, you know, for them. <laughs> <laughs> you know, this, I feel like this is too soon, but for some reason I just want to, I have this kind of urge to do this. We technically have um, 14 minutes left in our normal time slot. Okay. Well, we'll just quit then I'm just you know this painting won't get done just kind of remind me of direction I think is mostly why I'm wanting to do that I ran out of paint will kind of help me find maybe I'll probably paint all this out but it'll help me find things later mm -hmm. I think unless like there's a bird that I faintly hear outside or something squeaking. I don't know. Oh, um, my nose My nose was for a minute there. Okay, I, was I, breathing. Thought it was, I thought it was freckles no, snoring. That was my nose, everybody. <laughs> and Emily just let you know that my I nose... No, I thought it was because freckles' nose does that sometimes. No, it was my nose. It was so sorry. I heard it and I started mouth breathing. Oh, <laughs> if we... Uh, <laughs> um, I mean, too bad we're not live. We, we could have just cut that right out. Oh, it's fine. Just everyone pretend just, the, the last five seconds didn't um, happen. I think, favorite daughter, you're starting to go down the ranks a little there. <laughs> you called me out. No, it was me. I did. Well, I was just saying that it's dry. Plus, I'm taking allergy meds for, um, which I don't normally do. Because I've been walking outside and I, I, the ragweed this time of year mm -hmm. is part of the country. Mm -hmm. Okay, i got to stop. It's fun to put those in. Okay. I don't know why I have to stop other than I don't know. I'm going to end up painting them out. Except now I, I want to do like a little of this because it will remind me that, that <laughs> that's there. I do a lot of reminding. Yeah, that's leave what, a reminder. Yeah, because I'll forget. I bounce around too because if, cause I think, oh, I want that. I want that. <laughs> Michael said whistle while you work. <laughs> You're going to make it hard to paint. <laughs> oh, Emily's losing it. Uh, that's funny. Hey, you know it's live. It's real. <laughs> Unscripted. Nose whistle and all. Nose whistle and all. Yeah, that was me. That's funny. I've got a little blue right there, but I don't know that I mind it. A little bit of the blue canvas coming through. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you guys can see it. Yeah, it... Oh, yeah, it picks up. I had to turn around to see it best, but... Yeah, it's more apparent in the... in real life. IRL? IRL. Does anybody do that anymore? Oh, yeah. Oh. Easier shorthand. I kind of don't want to use too much white, save white for last. I could put some white up here on the nose, but I'm, gonna, I'm not going to do that yet. I'm going to try and get a little more drama. 
We'll see what happens. That's kind of brown. That's kind of, I need some gray. Oh yeah, that almost dried on me. How else do you keep acrylics from drying out? I don't know. I oh, think golden kinda... open paints. Oh, Gold... okay. I was thinking Tinker had said something about a brand. Golden has an open line. I've never used them. Golden is an excellent, excellent paint company. I just, I, I started buying Liquitex because I like the big caps. I can get them off. I don't have arthritis, but, and then they also stand on their caps. So I really like that. Um, and they, they might, I've said this before and I need to look it up. I think Liquitex might be the original acrylic paint company. Hmm. It's only been around since the mid, I'll say mid 1950s. Um, but Golden has an open line that you might really like if you're still with us. <laughs> <laughs> um, that's about all I, that's I, the um is like, I, I think that's all I know about it. I know some artists like it cause it can maybe paint more like an oil painter. Oh, they're still here. <laughs> so they got that. Um, between, let's see here. Oh, it's, I think it's golden. Yeah, golden. Oh, open. I thought you said Liquitex was the first. No, no, no. Golden oh, has okay. an open line. But they were the first acrylic paint people? No, I thought Liquitex was. Was it golden? I think it's golden. Oh, okay. Between 1946 and 1949, Leonard Bacour and Sam Golden, I mean, that could also just be ironically named. Um, no, I don't think so. Invented a solution acrylic paint under the brand, oh, Magna Paint. Oh. Okay, thanks, hon. You can also write, uh, go to Golden or Liquitex website, and I, they have a contact form. I know Golden does for sure. I'm not totally sure about Liquitex. Um, and say, hey, how do I keep my, well, they might even have it on the website. You don't have to ask them. You can just search their frequently asked questions. Brush stroke directions help. I'm just going to say it to both of us because sometimes when I'm talking, I forget what I'm doing. Mm. But Sam Golden went on to um, be a founder of Golden Artist Colors Incorporated. So that's the original then. I thought mm -hmm. Liquitex was. Um, and Michael says, Golden Open is fantastic and does not darken when, um, when dry. It stays matched. Oh, yeah, because this dries a half shade darker, which... Um, can drive you nuts, but I'm so used to it and I like it because mm -hmm. I'm not using white. You know, I can keep working up to turn the lights on, so to speak. Um, even though I've used some light, I've got some lighter values. I kind of like that it dries a little darker on me because I can always come back with another layer and mm -hmm. punch it up a little bit. Um, but it can drive you crazy if you're trying to color match wet on the fly. Because it does, a half shade means there's like a 10 step grayscale. So it'd be half of one of those steps darker. So it'd be like a 20th? Yes. Emily just did math. I'm good at math too, so. Are you? No, <laughs> no, it's always the hardest subject. Just threw you under the bus a little bit. That and science. I think science was worse though because I avoided science like the plague in through school. I really liked geometry. I was bad at geometry. I really liked that. I felt like it was math I could handle. Story problems? Get out of here. The well, train left the... Well, my reading comprehension just stinks. So, e so <laughs> even the paragraph for the train left the station type mm -hmm. story problem just drove me insane. Yeah. I'm like, can you draw me a picture with that? <laughs> yeah. That my totally my help me. ACT, I think I could bump up everything else except math. Or no, not math. Um, the comp reading comprehension of English section would always stay the same <laughs> oh yeah my reading comprehension is just you are my daughter i'm so sorry about that it's okay i just all i can do is apologize yeah <laughs> you have to deal with it um <laughs> heartless bulldogs has another question sure. um some canvases say they are pre-primed uh -huh. um in quotes, sorry, my acrylic lingo may not be right. Oh, um, mine's not either. <laughs> is that sufficient, or should I prime it with something else? Okay, total opinion here. I don't. Um, some artists think you need to put gesso on it, and then they'll sand it and put more gesso on it. You want to be careful. Gesso is kind of, I don't know what it is, but don't get too many layers of gesso. I think it could be a problem, but I don't know if that's fact or fiction. 
and they get it smoother and you don't have the canvas texture coming through. Mm -hmm. um, I, I buy pre-primed canvases from Michaels. I've been buying them on Amazon from Creative Mark. And a lot of times I'm putting a coat of paint like I did on this one down. So that's like priming it again. Mm -hmm. You know, um, I don't, I just, I like, I don't want to take the time. I don't think you need to. So um, nothing extra on the canvases that are pre-primed? You don't have to, in my opinion, you don't have to. Short answer is no, you don't have to. Um, certainly can if you want to. Some people even like put it just white on it. Mm-hmm. And some people like the gesso because it's more of a sand texture, mm -hmm. better than the, the the canvas or the linen texture. That's it's, it's personal preference. Yeah, it's and probably what you get used to. And right some artists that. think you absolutely have to and need to. And I'm like, you know, if it's not straight up raw canvas, it's ready to roll. Mm -hmm. It's what you like. If you want to be archival, you want 100% cotton canvas. Um, I, that's about it. Kiln drying. Kiln, K-I-L-N, dried stretcher bars mm. will keep it lasting the longest. Mm -hmm. But in my opinion, acrylic paint is plastic. So the canvas and the stretcher bars are going to go way before the painting. Because that plastic, I don't know how long that's going to take to biodegrade. Yeah. But that's, uh, that hasn't been tested. That hasn't. Do you, what year was it, Emily? I don't remember. You said that golden 1950-something? 19, the first acrylic was created in between 1946 and 1949. Okay. So they haven't, I mean, we haven't been around 100 years to know how uh, how, archi how archival the paint is going to be. But I just think it's inherently more ar archival than oil paint because it's what it's made out of and how plastic versus oil biodegrades. Mm -hmm. That was more of the lesson they asked for. Don't have to. My opinion is you don't have to do anything to the canvas. Yeah, I think like seven sentences ago, they <laughs> said, so helpful, thank you. <laughs> I think they're nicer than I am. <laughs> like, yeah, okay, like, I'd make a good teacher, and the whole classroom would be snoozing on their desks. Because <laughs> I'll make a couple paragraphs out of a simple, I don't think you need to. Um, but Tinker popped in and says, just got here, hubby behind me saw the screen and said, oh, wow. Oh, hey, thank, thank you, hubby, and great to see you, Tinker. Thanks for coming. I felt so bad when we changed the time. I know. Tinker used to come to our noon lives a lot. I don't know why I'm doing that. I'm not really doing anything there. I'm just playing, probably because I'm thinking about things and not thinking about painting. Thanks for the questions. Um, if I don't know, or I'll just, like I just said in the, here comes another paragraph, guys, turn down the volume. Um, I, or I'll tell you it's just my opinion, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I have a feeling people will be wishing, like, my paintings would biodegrade and <laughs> disappear. And I put permanent varnish on my paintings where... It used to be you should put removable varnish on because the gallery's going to want it, like on an oil painting, they're going to want to take off the yellowing varnish. And yeah. I don't think that's going to, I don't know, but I don't think it's going to be a problem with acrylics. The acrylics have a light, if you buy a decent enough brand, has a light fat fastness, and then the non-yellowing, I put on permanent varnish, has a, also has light fastness to it, UV prote protection, so I don't know if my colors are even going to shift. Hmm. I'll be dead probably before they shift. That's a morbid thought. That's kind of a Halloween thought. <laughs> a Halloween thought. <laughs> um, Tinker says, I need to figure out how to have YouTube notify me when you go live or when you're going to. I just happened to pop on YouTube and saw it by chance. Um, I think there's... Hey, you just... You just... Uh, oh, I'm trying to figure out where it is so I can then... So when I, after describe. I post it, so I have more lives coming up, and you can go to those lives and say notify me. There's a button. True. That's of course, fast. now will YouTube actually do it? I think sometimes YouTube is bad about it. Yeah, it's hit and miss. Yeah. I've it seen... notifies me of my lives, but I think that's just because so it doesn't get it in trouble. Like, I don't go, hey, YouTube. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Boy, I'm getting putsy. I think it's because I'm talking too much. Well, you technically, it's funny if you keep going, but... Um, you technically have one more minute in our normal time oh, slot. okay. That's good to know. I also set my watch. So I'm just kind of building up. I'm going to look at it. That looks pretty good. 
Mm -hmm. You know, as soon as I put painted this sort of green gray background, I went, I don't like it. I do that every time. <laughs> but I think if I tie in, of course, I put some green here in it. It uh, did funny things. So I've got burnt umber and phthalo green. That phthalo green is strong. Uh, hopefully that was in frame. I th I th I'm going to tie it in in the shadow areas. There, that's a little better. Let's put some in the nose. Of course, it's going to look like green might not be a good color for a nose. <laughs> well, I think you're just going to glaze, aren't you? Yeah, but I'm thinking, like, is he sick? <laughs> a little bug? Well, yeah. Here, we'll just do that and see. Um, Michael says, Artisan makes a removable water-based varnish. Oh, yeah. I'm not against removable. Um, I just like the... I'm a Liquitex girl. And I like that it cleans up with water. It's a little, it's self-leveling. It doesn't have any toxic odors. So I just, I like using that. But yeah, there's probably some brands I'll end up switching to down the road that are better. I don't know that that green really even showed. I'm gonna grab a little state, straight up phthalo green. Oh, I don't mind that in there. It's got kind of a green, green nostril. <laughs> we may paint it out, but I don't know that I actually mind it. We'll see if we can get away with it. That's part of the fun for me too, is like, what can I, when I paint the juicy, like the barn painting with all the really colorful land and the tree is like pinks and wine colors. And it's like, it's fun to see it really is true that it, the values are more important than the color. Mm -hmm. That barn painting was totally me seeing what I could get away with with color. That's one of your favorites, isn't it? Now? Yeah. Yeah, that, that barn superseded the frog. It almost sold, but I wouldn't ship it to, I wouldn't figure out shipping and customs to London. So, I mean, if you want it, you got to let me know. He's kind of small. He is too small for your house. He'd work in a bathroom, maybe. I know, but I have the previous homeowners put floating shelves above every... We just set it on the shelf. No. I wouldn't rest it. So I put a little green in there. It's kind of fun. Oh, Freckles is awake. <laughs> the live's going to have to be over. Hi, Freckles. Hi, Freckles is my um, torty cat. She's a medium with some long hair here and there. She's old. <laughs> So she gets what she wants. Yeah. She's sitting. She's good. Hi. We could put you on camera. That usually makes you go yeah, away. Yeah, that makes her go away. She does not like it. So I would call this layer one. Mm -hmm. And I'll work on the rest of the, um, the bear. I might just stop. Oh, we got eight seconds. <laughs> She's trying to get up. She's trying to get up. I'm going to stop because... If she's gonna okay. help help me, oh, you're gonna get water on you. Oh, oh she hopped up. Yeah, it's just it's been an hour and a half, and the cat now wants to help me. I should um. Here, I'm gonna kind of. That's okay. We're gonna stop here. I can only catch a corner of her head. Here. Hi. You gotta say hi. <laughs> oh, see, she wouldn't even look up. <laughs> I don't know what that looked like. Oh. I gotta tell in my face. She's not a fan. Does anybody have any more questions or comments? We don't have to go right away. She, yeah, look how uh, she's like, what the heck? Oh yeah, she does not <laughs> want to be on video. Mm mm. Yeah, I'll go back. To oh, you can't see the live anymore. Yeah. Hair tail. <laughs> you see anything else in the? I don't see anything new in the chat. Okay. Well, thank you. That I love the questions. I love just hanging out with creative people. I don't have any art friends. That's so fun for me. I'm looking at Emily because I like I really don't have any art friends. Um, thanks a bunch for all your support. Thanks for putting up with Freckles joining the live at the end. I'm gonna stand our little see if it'll a little guy. Will he stay? Oh yeah, the art hug guy is gonna stand there that Emily made me. Here, should I point it down for Freckle? Oh, I was gonna say great big happy art. Okay. Hug. See, she won't look up. She really hates it. She does hate. She hates she being hates. on video. Okay, guys. <laughs> Great big happy art hugs, and I hope to chat with you soon. Bye, guys.